Good day all. Welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's discuss how we can manage multiple cashiers with your Odoo 50 point of sale module. So Odoo allows you to efficiently keep track of uh, the cashier's uh, progress no matter how big your cashier chain is. So as you can manage your stores around the world with a single Odoo database, you can easily keep track of your cashiers and employees in all of the stores. So here we have a point of sale module with a dashboard that shows all the uh, stores, that is all the point of sales, including shops, bars, restaurant. So here uh, you can click on the settings of your point of sale. You can find the settings, just open the settings. So before modifying the setting, uh, make sure that you have closed the open session. So without closing a session, that is, if you have an open session, then you won't be able to change the settings. So, so here you can activate the feature authorize employees and you can use employee credentials to log into the point of sale session and switch uh, between cashiers. So here you can add some allowed employees. So I've added three uh, employees. So after adding allowed employees, you can save the point of sale and you have to set a pin for this employees uh, so that uh, employees can make use of that pin to log into the point of sale session. And cashiers can also uh, make use of their badge to enter the point of sale session. So let's open our employees module and here we can see your employee, Anita Oliver. So under HR settings of the employee, you can add pin code. And uh, if you want to uh, enter the point of sale session uh, by using badge, you can generate a badge also. So you can scan the badge and enter the session. Or you can use a pin code. So now let's start a new session and here we can add an opening amount and when you open session you can uh, see options log into the shop. So we can either scan a uh, badge that is cashier can either scan their badge to enter or you can uh, they can uh, use pin code. So you have to select the cashier and enter the pin code. You can see we are entered to the point of sale session. That is our point of sale interface. So here you can see the cashier is Anita Oliver. Now if you want to switch to a different cashier, uh, so you can click on this again and choose a cashier. Provide the pin. You can see we have switched to a different cashier. And here you can see one thing that Michelin admin is only allowed to close the session. Like for Anita Oliver, you can see uh, there is no option to close the session because Michelin admin is a manager so he can close he can only close the session and there is also an option to uh, restrict price modification to manager so here under pricing you can find that option uh, so you can restrict uh, price modification only to manager so okay if i start a new session you 
And if I add a product to order line, here we have the option to change the price of the product. So you can see as a Michelin Admins Manager, you can modify the price. Now if I switch to a different cashier, here you can see that button price modification is disabled for this cashier. So manager only can uh, change the price of products. So now to close the session, again we have to switch to a manager. And close the session. Now let's open a new session and and make an order. Like if a customer ordered a product, here we can register the payment, validate it. Once again, add some products to order line. Here, different customer came and ordered some products. Choose a payment method and validate it. Now, let's switch the cashier. Let's close the interface by keeping the session open. Now, preserving cashier sales data is essential for efficient business plan. So with order point of sale, you can efficiently track and overview your cashiers uh, effortlessly. So order registers a cashier automatically every time the cashier login and at the end of the point of sale session, you can check the status of your cashiers from here. So when you open orders, you can get a complete overview of your orders done and you can prove this by cashier. So for any Oliver, you can see the total 2,529.55 and for Michelin, you can see there are 69 orders and you can find the total uh, order amount. And from the report also, you can see we have orders analysis report so this shows a graph view and we also have a pivot table. So here we can group by cashier. So here we can uh, track the number of orders under this cashier which let me and Anita Oliver. We can find the total product quantity ordered, total amount. We can also add uh, more measures like if you want to view profit, uh, if you want to view margin, then say line count, subtotal without discount and total discount, then count. So you can individually review your cashier's performance and plan cashier management accordingly. So tracking performance and connecting with your employees on personal level can help you to achieve much more in business communications. So that's all for this video. And if you have any doubts related to this topic or a point of sale module, you can add your comments below. And if you're looking for any auto implementation or customization in your business, drop a request to auto at cybrosis.com. Thank you.